What's up, Felix? We're in the same f-ing thing. What? Oh, well, it's gonna, all right. Close up to you. Okay. It's close enough. Um, we were just talking about. Uh, we were just talking about. Uh, you know, Davos World Economic Forum. See, Kristen Cinema and Joe Manchin are there. Yeah, yeah. They got a. Uh, they got a standing ovation for saying that they're not going to end the judicial filibuster. Yeah. Or the filibuster in general. Yeah. Uh, it's it's great. Davos Davos sucks. Davos sucks. It's always like been evil and bad, and like they usually like it's evil and bad for like direct reasons. They tell you right, like every year, just like a new rebranded austerity. It's like we want people to retire later. We want to uh, privatize more pension funds. But now, now that the average person knows what it, what it is, people make like all these photoshops where it's like. Oh, you won't believe what they said at Davos, and it will be like Klaus Schwab being, uh, it'll be a picture of him in a fake headline that's like, actually, everyone should be a pedophile. Yeah. It's, and it's like, it's it, like, it, it's, they're already say, saying evil shit. You don't have to. Dude, that like, is exactly, dude, that, that is literally what I've been talking about for the past hour. Or they even talk about like some of the, the, the actual things that they do say about climate change, but like they don't realize that that's just marketing for liberals. That's yeah. just like normalizing the existence of the World Economic Forum for a bunch of like, you know, professional managerial class people to be like, yeah, we care about climate change. Like, there, no one is going to force everyone to eat bugs, okay? When the agricultural uh, industry is so powerful and such a, uh, a, a major contributor to anthropogenic climate change, they're not actually going to f- turn around and, like, stop you from eating cows, okay? I've seen, I've seen BP do these same ads for, like, 15 years now about how they're going carbon neutral and how they have, they have like, a new green way of doing things. It's like taking that at face value. And, the, the, like, the entire reason there is a Davos and can be a Davos and, like, the entire reason why a guy like Klaus Schwab can exist just uh, being a podcaster solely for Fortune 500 CEOs and prime ministers is like agribusiness it is like the beef slurry that people will continue to eat until it's no longer possible yeah it's just i don't know it it is it is very very frustrating to see that though and now like cbs ap they're all like covering the world economic forum but they're talking about it from like the perspective of of course conspiracy theories gaining traction online and it's like they're these these right-wing idiots and or just like most normies I think, have reasonable and understandable animosity towards the wealthy. They recognize that something is f***ed up, but they have no way of, like, communicating or no way of, like, genuinely comprehending what's f***ed up about it. So they just, like, hyper-focus on, like, weird marketing points that they talk about with respect to, like, eating bugs uh, as a substitute for protein. Yeah, no, they take, like... You remember when Bill Gates, like, drank that poop water? When he like yeah they 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 were like oh we took a bunch of uh, like water from a sewage treatment plant we refined it so now I can drink it like that they the Davos set or the Fortune five hundred or the NWO or the NATO satanic alliance whatever you want to call it whatever your alignment is and whatever you want to call that they love the like big flashy headline grabbing things like that that no one is actually going to do because it, it makes them look busy. It's it's a macro version of when like uh blue municipalities ban vape flavors. It just it's looking busy. Yeah. No, it's looking busy and also like appealing, I think, to the sensibilities of people that are not directly in control, right? They're not like capital owners themselves, they're not business owners themselves, but they're like they're they're watching Sigma Grindset podcasters. And they're like thinking like one day I'll become, uh, you know, one day I will also be a boss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's people who like. Or like liberals in general that are in positions of like some power, like managerial roles and whatnot that go, oh, well, yeah, they, they're, they're looking out for our future. Like they're doing the right things, I think. Right, yeah, just it's all reassurance. It's for, like, people who, like, even if they don't necessarily have to Goshen, equity we- in, like, in whatever business, even if they're not, like, you know, fully capital owners, they do have something to lose if this goes away, and it makes it appear as though, like, someone is looking after keeping this thing going forever. Yeah. Um not that hard to go vegan and then you have annoying vegans in my community who like hyper focus on that aspect of it immediately as though like that's what we're talking about that's just marketing it's just 
That's just flavor, okay? There's just they're sprinkling that on top to get people like you to, you know, not realize the the major uh, issue at hand, which is a bunch of billionaires, millionaires, and politicians getting together to be like, how do we can, how do we just keep this shit going? Yeah, you can go vegan eating entirely things that like Conagra produces. You yeah. can like, I mean, like you no, know, yeah, I, I I I admire it as an individual choice, but like in the face of everything else, in the face of agribusiness's hold on every every food that we eat, like it just you know, not even a drop in the bucket, unfortunately. Like yeah. most personal choices, who's this? I, I who's Goshen prepping? I've this not is seen this someone guy. just sent me a, a prepper talking about the World Economic <laughs> Forum Davos. Get ready for this Forum and their hidden plans in Davos in a few days, and that's so exciting. Of course, it is. Of course, I'm being facetious about the whole thing. There are, of course, many, many conspiracy theories surrounding this group. What is the Starfleet Academy? That's what I want to know. Chat. Someone look. Is this that up. Star Trek? If we actually got a to cog. attach the word elite, he's got a bunch anybody, of cogs. It's going to maybe be he's a leftist members prepper. of the WEF. Cog and he is a scholar. But why? Why are they so bad? And one may simply attribute their actions to trying to better the world. Are they? Are they truly nefarious? Well, we're going to do a little digging to find out and stay to the end because I guarantee you will be shocked at what we found. And first off, you have to understand that when you talk about World Economic Forum, we can't say that word without the words or the name Klaus Schwab. And understand Klaus Schwab, who started the WEF, we can actually let him speak for himself by looking at a few quotes of things he said. This new era of global reset will lead to a fusion uh -huh. of our physical, uh -huh. digital, and biological identity. I'm this is, like, more about this is like the biggest reception he's ever gotten. Like he has to kind of be happy about all this because it's like usually for like the past like 15 years when he's said in any of this shit. Like, everyone in the audience, their eyes are glazing over. They're waiting for, like, the Ghislaine organized orgy that's coming after. This is the first time in history that people are taking these, the, this bullshit, just nothing that Klaus Schwab is saying and going, oh, my oh, it's God, real. he's going to happen. He's going to yeah. do it. Yeah. Yeah. No, for sure. For real. He's dev. We're definitely doing that, guys. It's happening. The Great Reset. It already happened. And it happened like 20 years before you were born. Oh, before well, any of us exactly. were born. Exactly. Oh, they're taking our freedoms away. It's like, dude, you have nothing. Like, people are like, oh, I'm so terrified of a Wally -E style future where I'm just like strapped up to a desk and it's like pumping me nutrients as I watch television. It's like, you literally are that. Yeah. You're doing that. You have no control over your life. There's no mechanism of pushback. You have, you have no way of like, uh, you know, gaining a, a, a modicum of power in your immediate life where you spend 80 percent of your adult life in your workplace they already for they're just talking about like they're just talking about how to keep the over continuing yeah no yeah yeah 